La Forza del Destino by Giuseppe Verdi. The synopsis is presented by Opera Inside, the online opera guide. The roles. Marchese di Calatrava, rural nobleman. Leonora, his daughter and lover of Alvaro. Carlo, Leonora's brother. Alvaro, noble mestizo from Peru. Fra Malitoni, monk. Guardiano, father. In an aged country house of the Marquesi di Calatrava in Seville. It is late and the Marquesi wishes his daughter Leonora good night. Leonora is plagued by a guilty conscience, because she plans to flee with Don Alvaro that very night. Lovingly she says goodbye to her father. She cannot open her heart to him, he would never approve of her connection to the nobleman and mestizo Don Alvaro. Don Alvaro appears to take her with him. But Leonora hesitates, she wants to wait until the next day to say goodbye to her father. Don Alvaro is stunned, agitated he releases her from her marriage promise. Then Leonora changes her mind again and is ready to flee with him this very night. They hear steps in the house. The Marchese appears with two armed servants. Incensed, the Marchese points his gun at Alvaro, who in turn has pulled out a pistol. Alvaro swears the Marchese his honorable intention and the purity of his daughter. As a sign of reconciliation he throws his gun on the ground. A shot is fired and fatally hits the Marchese. Don Alvaro draws Leonora to the window and together they escape. In a village tavern. Don Carlos sits at a table dressed as a student. 18 months have passed since the accident. He is still searching for his sister Leonora and the murderer of his father. Leonora, who was separated from Don Alvaro in the turmoil, enters the tavern in men's clothing, accompanied by the muleteer Trabuco. When she sees her brother, she is startled and quickly hides. Now the gypsy Prezia Sola appears. She lures recruits for the Italy campaign. Don Carlo gets into conversation with Trabuco. He inquires where his companion is and mocks that he has no beard. The host doesn't want any trouble and wants to know who Carlo is. He pretends to be the student Pereira. He tells the story of a friend who is looking for the murderer of his father who fled with his daughter to America. In the convent of the Virgin of the Angels. Exhausted, Leonora arrives in men's clothes. She had secretly listened to her brother in the inn and learned bitterly about Alvaro's alleged escape to America. She wants to repent at the monastery. The abbot of the monastery receives her. He has received a letter and knows the story. He takes pity on her and grants Leonora her request to be able to end her life as a hermit, where she is to live with meager rations and in absolute loneliness, none of the monks may contact her. Leonora is received in the monastery in a solemn ceremony. The abbot orders the monks that no one is ever allowed to near the unknown person. Only at the sound of the death knell may she be granted final consolation. In a field camp near home. Soldiers are playing cards. Nearby is Don Alvaro. He has enlisted and is an officer of the Spanish army. His thoughts are with Leonora, whom he thinks is dead. Noise is coming from the soldiers. Alvaro rushes to the assistance of an officer who has been attacked by card sharpers. It's Carlo, who was also hired under a false name. The two become friends, but they do not know their respective real identity. The troops are under attack. Don Alvaro leads his troops in the battle and is seriously wounded. He is brought to the field hospital and Don Carlo is with him. He promises him the Order of Calatrava for his bravery. When Alvaro hears the name, he cringes and gives Carlo a key with the request to burn the contents of the box with its secret in case of his death. Moved, they say goodbye and Alvaro is taken to the surgeon. Carlo noticed Alvaro's reaction to the name Calatrava. He has a nasty suspicion that Alvaro may be his father's killer. The contents of the box might reveal the truth. When he opens it, he finds a sealed paper. He struggles, whether he should betray his friend's trust. When he finds a medallion of Leonora in his jacket, there's no room for doubt. 
his wishes, that Alvaro will die by his hand. At this moment the surgeon appears and reports that Alvaro has survived. Carlo triumphs, revenge is near. With care Carlo nursed Alvaro back to health. When Don Alvaro regains his strength, Carlo reveals himself. Alvaro seeks peace and offers him friendship, but Carlo wants the blood of Alvaro and Leonora with his sword. The two fight a duel, but are separated from soldiers. Alvaro decides to give up soldiering to find peace in a monastery. In the convent of the Virgin of the Angels. Five years have passed. Those in need get soup from Fra Melitoni. He mocks the beggars while they praise Father Raphael, who always found kind words for them. Father Raphael, none other than Don Alvaro, retired to his cell some time ago. Now Carlo appears in the convent, he got on the tracks of Alvaro. When they meet, Carlo takes out two swords that he brought for the duel. Alvaro tries to convince him of the unfortunate accident of the pistol shot, for which he is paying in the monastery. Carlo provokes him anew by scolding him as a mulatto, whereupon Alvaro grabs the sword but tries to compose himself. Once again Carlo tries to provoke him with a slap in the face. Now they hurl themselves from the monastery to find a place for their duel. Not far from there is Leonora in her hermitage. She hears the noise of the duel. When Carlo is mortally wounded, Alvaro calls the unknown hermit to take confessional vows from Carlo. Surprised, he recognizes Leonora. She hurries to the dying Carlo. He cannot forgive her even in death and plunges a dagger into her chest. Father Guardiano rushes over and seeks words of comfort for the dying Leonora. 